Hello there guys, Philippa10000 here, bringing you a quick pre-video message, and if you'd like to support the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And make sure to check out the Game Show Central Discord channel down in the description, where you can hang out with me and my friends. Enjoy the video! <laughs> everybody, Bulabo10000 here, bringing you another episode of Into the Depths to the Unbidden. Today, we are in the janitor's office, and we're going to continue exploring this lovely location known as the underground area of this map. And I'm a little bit terrified, because it's kind of dark and it's kind of spooky. But I'm going to see what we can find down here. Oh. Where do we emerge? Stairway A Cafeteria. Cafeteria first floor. Oh, we're back at the school. Oh, damn. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to head back down quickly. And make sure I've got that uh, key I put in the save point. Because I just assumed, oh, we're nowhere near the school. But we are. Also, I'm going to take my book and quill back out with me. Because I do like my notepad. Um, God damn, the level design in this game, it just links up. I love it. Alright, let me just put you there. Put you there. I don't want to use my potion by mistake, so I need to be kind of careful. And I'm going to move you there. Put you there. There we go. Oh, and this is going up to, I think, the floor that we couldn't get into before. Yeah. We're in a part of the school that we couldn't get into before with our... ...characters at this point. Any enemies? Ah, we can unlock our pathway back now. Oh no, respawns. Or have I never been Yeah, these are new these are new enemies. You weren't here before. That was definitely not here last time I was in this area. Does that mean there have been respawns in like all major areas? Ah! That answers the question. In all major areas, there have been respawned enemies. Great. There's more than one. There's two of them. Great. That makes things a bit more worrying for me. Now there are a bunch of new enemies for me to worry about. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that the game is obviously adapting to this fact, but... God damn it. If it doesn't annoy me a little bit. Hello. Because it's like I just spent all the time clearing this area out. Ah. Hello, music. Like, I spent the whole time clearing that area out of the little zombies, and now they've all grown up. It's a little bit annoying in, like, an okay way. I'm fine with it. Like, I'm not mad or anything. This is actually pretty cool. Where are you? There you are. Main office. I can't actually get in there from this area. Principal's office is once again open. Let's see what... So we're really restricting the third floor restroom to one key now? That is your idea? You really think that's going to make anyone feel any better about what happened? 
What, to prevent something like this from ever happening again? Like you tell the parents, like this even had anything to do with their kids. That still doesn't fix our financial issues. At the rate we're going this year might be our last group of students. And then where will they all go? Abraham, quit while you're ahead, actually. Or Abraham, quit while you're ahead. Actually, no. You're past the point where the phrase applies. Quit while you're way, way behind. At least spare us the agony of having to spend our last days here being bossed around by some slime ball who was only put into that position because you're a pushover. You want to fire me for saying that? Be my damn guest. It's not like I won't be out of a job anyway soon. Leona. Leona Lewis right there. Leona Queen. Fact. Any enemies? None in this room specifically. We've got some venom-tipped arrows. But uh, we're running out of space now, which is a problem. So I'm going to pop that in there. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling the little kids couldn't stay away for too long. Wait, what? Oh. I'm dead. Alright. So that's all the new stuff on this floor then. I guess we should head down to the second floor and see if we can find out something new from this area. Ugh, creepy. Please die. What does this open up to? Gift shop. Oh, we're on this corridor. Okay. Ah! I wanted to go to the save room. Fuck you then. I won't go to the save room. You can stay there. At least I know where we are now. It certainly helps when I have my bearings caught in this entire school. But now comes the fun part. Where next? You know? I feel like we're at a point where I'm not too sure where to go. I know we should be going into the music room. So I'm gonna go look for that in a moment, but I need to kill these guys first. And I wanted to see if the staff lounge actually had a save point in this area, but it doesn't. We just have arrows. And I still am no closer to solving the puzzle in the principal's office. Ah, the guidance counselor has a, a journal now. I need your help. Hi, Mrs. Metz. I hope you're doing well. I'm Ava Butel. I teach a kindergarten class in K105 over in the Annex building. That's the one we found Hannah in. I know you're busy, so I am request this letter that you uh, meet with one of my children, but it's a sensitive matter. It's about Hannah, Mr. Kohler's daughter. Oh, okay, that's cool. I need you to keep this between us. If you must say no, I don't blame you. She's been in exhibiting some increasingly concerning behaviour as of late, and I'm stuck in a position where there isn't much I can do to help her. Not only has she been performing horrendously in my class to the point where she would be failing, think about that, have you ever heard of a kindergartner flunking a class? But she has been getting into confrontations with other children, one of which became physical. She's been complaining of headaches and stomach aches, she spends recess all by herself, completely isolated from her usual group of friends, and she gets bouts of what look like panic attacks to me. She'll break out in a cold sweat, gasping for breath, shaking. I'll take her to the infirmary where she eventually calms down, but it's getting to the point where a day doesn't go by without some kind of incident from her. Here's the problem. Abraham is threatening to fire me if I don't keep my mouth shut and pass the girl with flying colours. 
I always knew he was sleazy, but it's pretty clear Mr. Cola has Abraham in his pocket, and he doesn't want to tell Cola what's really going on with his daughter, or else he may take the blame of school pullers funding. Getting to my point, you're the guidance counsellor. Mr. Metz, and a damn good one from what I hear. I'm worried about Hannah so deeply, and I ask that you take time out of your day and see her. See if you can work your magic. But please, discretion is key here. Neither Kuntz nor Kola can find out about this. Please, just consider it. Amazing that we got stuck with Abraham Kuntz of all people to be our boss. He sure lives up to his namesake. Hey, I miss the days when your brother sat in that office. God rest his soul, Miss B. Interesting stuff that we find out from these guys. Any enemies? Any enemies? Any enemies? Any enemies that I can see? No, no, no. Nothing from Mrs. Newman. Uh, this sounds like there are so many enemies upstairs, it's annoying. And I know it's because I need to get to the music room, so they've just filled more enemies in that. Whoa! Some masks made of paper mache and other materials. One of them is Hello! It's me! <laughs> this is the, um... I assume these are people that played the map prior. Hello. Aw, oh, thank you, map maker. That's really cool. Glad I came in here. That's really awesome. Put a smile on my face. Grade book. Superhero mask project grades. I call mine the unfixing alloy. He looks like a normal guy, but he's made of metal, and alloy is the smart word for metal, I think. His powers are killing vampires, and he can break rocks and trees. Grade 97. Billy. My superhero is me. I call myself the Billabo 10,000. I added the 10,000 because I'm supposed to be a robot. I don't have any superpowers, but as a robot, I've given myself the ability to sing better than anyone, and my weakness is but. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Thank you so much for that, Matt Maker. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, that's 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 made my day. That has absolutely made my day. Ah. All right. Well, now I've got to finish the map. <laughs> Damn! I can't leave. I can't. I can't just stop playing. Ah. Have to finish it now. Gotta go find that music room. Let's go. Ah, oh, that was so cool. That was such a nice Easter egg. Ah. Let's put a smile on my face. Put a smile on this cold arsehole's face. All right. Supply room was already locked. Uh. Music room! Here we are. Any enemies? Nope. Oh, it's the jukebox. Uh, the, the acceptance uh, jukebox disc. We can put that in the jukebox that I think was in the nightmare version of this area. Mr. Moses' journal. I wasn't sure about bringing the idea of Mrs. Shuster's music into my lesson plan as Mr. Kohler requested, but after hearing some recordings, I'm thoroughly impressed. Apparently, the track we're covering this week, titled Acceptance, was the last song she had ever recorded. It's both beautiful as well as haunting in retrospect. The title fills me with the questions, the implications. I'd like to learn more about this woman, maybe try and track her down more of her music. She was local. I don't think it's far-fetched to assume her music was sold here in town. Alright, so I like how it's just compl- Oh, don't remove instruments unless given permission. Okay, not gonna remove the instruments, not gonna touch them. That's very interesting, then. I like how they're, once again, tying the games together. This one and the... And the older one. Alright, enemies. I'm waiting for an enemy. Screw it, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and just warp. I know what I need to do now. Oh, fudge. So what I need to do is I need to go to the music room, and I need to play the jukebox. Come on. There we go. To be fair, I've gotten better with spiders, by the way. I'm much better with them. I still don't like them, but I'm better. Here we go. What 
What an interesting music track. Okay. I'll listen to it for as long as I need to. I assume there's going to be something that activates. God, this is beautiful music. Wow. All right. So I just listened to the entirety of the jukebox and it didn't actually do anything. Uh, I'm not sure what to do now. I'm a little bit lost. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to the main world and I'm going to start, ex I'm just going to explore a few more of the areas that we may have uh, skipped through where all the, like, the new mobs are spawning and stuff. See if there's something I may have missed, because chances are there is something I've missed. Uh, I mean, there's still the time puzzle in that one area that I haven't been able to solve yet. Oh! Oh, I just noticed this window's broken. Oh my god. Okay, looks like I'm parkouring. Oh, and that lets me into here. And that- Oh! I could probably take a look at the time in there, mark them down, and then break the- uh, bring the time over to the other world. Totem of Undying. Okay. It's a teddy bear. Uh, don't know why we'd need that, but... I'm perfectly okay with having that. If it stops me dying, I'm okay with it. Alright, some more arrows. Oh no, the clocks aren't here. Or, this is the room with the clocks, right? Like, I'm about 90% sure this is the one where the clocks would be. Student information, Miss Teedman. Okay. Student information. Oh. Come on. There we go, got it. Almost died, but I got it. Faculty and management information. Okay. Schedule. Monday, 9am first period, 10am second period, 11am third period, blah blah blah. Dismissal. Uh, Tuesday, uh, 1 p.m. in the music room. That was the change. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Sleep is for the weak. I know what this is, I think. I think this is... We need to keep this. I'm pretty sure this is going to help us with the, uh... With the puzzle, with the times. I'm about 90% sure. I don't know exactly how. I think I need to find that book that went with that puzzle to begin with. But in order to do that, we need to head back to the other world. And we also need to go to a save point. I don't know what, where the closest save point is. I don't remember. Uh, probably the one at the bottom of the stairs. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to go back to my save point and see if I can maybe find out if I kept the book or not that I needed to keep. Four Sinners, Riddle. I'm pretty sure it's Riddle. Alright. Yep, this is definitely it. So now I have to figure out the, uh, the puzzle. Let's do this. Okay. So now we get to figure out the time puzzle, which is the main major puzzle that I think I've, uh, encountered in this entire playthrough. So that's fun. I kind of want to solve it now, so hopefully we'll be able to solve it and leave this level and uh, finish the demo. As sad as that is, I don't actually want the demo to end. I don't, I'd actually love to just play the full map, to be honest, but... ah, Slain by a zombie. Where are we? We're back down here. I, I got to regen my health. Sure, I wasted a, a potion, but I got to regen my health by doing that, so I'm not, I'm not going to complain. Plus, I guess having a free free spot in my hand would probably also be pretty helpful. We've got a lot of arrows as well, so I have no problem shooting those zombies if I need to. But, uh... Realistically, I just want to run past them. There we go. There we go. Taken out. Let's head back into the other world. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. 
We're about to solve some puzzles. Oh, I thought that I was about to fall through like the floor or something then. Wrong room. This one here. Hopefully nothing spawned in here. Arrows can be turned like a combination lock. The green tip seems to represent the direction. They are pointed in. Okay. So first things first, riddle. Warmth draws near, a shriek is heard, a telltale sign for the early bird. Hunger and shoes during a brief respite, meals and laughter, so that's the cafeteria. The plucking of strings is the music room. Okay. Warmth draws near, a shriek is heard. Would it be lesson prep or sleepers for the week? All right, so I would say it's 9 a.m. first period. So, so like that. Then lunch is 12 p.m. Wait. Yep, lunch is always 12 p.m. Then music room, which is 1 p.m. So flip that around. Maybe this one's the one that's wrong. Maybe this one's six. Ah! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Ho ho! Yes! Yes! Alright. A seed. Huh? Could this be what fits in the indentation in the auditorium? Ooh! I'm actually gonna get rid of the riddle now, by the way. Just did that to clear up space. Plant thy seed so the executioner may bring suffering to those who bring suffering. I think we're reaching the end game now. I think it's time to head to the auditorium. I'm happy to run through some enemies if I have to. I'm heading to that auditorium. We're going there now. If we're reaching end game then I'm going to deal with it, because the Executioner sounds strikingly like some sort of boss mob. So I imagine we're about to face our first and probably only boss of the, the playthrough, given that obviously this is the demo. I also have to appreciate just how, um, how much has been included in this demo. This is so cool. There we go. You hear a sound behind you. Aha! This is a boss. There we go. Ah, oh, did all that damage. Come on. There we go. taken out. Does that open up the door over here? The path will open when justice has been served. Well, in my opinion, justice has been served. I just killed the guy. Alright, guys. So, apparently, this door was meant to open, and it's a bug, so I'm gonna go game mode C and just break open the door. And I guess we were in game mode A. So there we go. We were meant to go through here. I, I, I confirmed it. I checked it out. I looked at someone else's playthrough. They had the same issue. So it's a known bug. So it's probably going to get fixed for the, the main game. But it's good to know that, you know, it was all fixed. And confirmed. 314. 303 study hall. Let's head into 314. But the music isn't going to stop for a while, I don't think, so we'll have to put up with that. Strange notebook. He was different. Misunderstood, I thought. Oh yeah, misunderstood. That's one way of putting it. He had a way with words. The kind of words that make you just forget about anything. But charisma like that is a curse. A curse on everyone but him. Charisma like that can just about get anyone right in the palm of his hand. Charisma like that? 
It comes at a price. Ooh. Is that talking about cola? Probably talking about cola. Well then. Where do we go from here, I wonder? I mean, we've seen just about, I guess, everything that we need to see. So, what do we need to do now? Ah! What? Whoa, I, I walked back. Wh where am I? Am I back in the Annex building? The exit to the Annex building. The exit key to the Annex building. Okay. A church bell. Could that be Isaac? He did say to meet him at the chapel. Maybe he found someone. So now we need to leave the Annex building through here. And we're out. End of the demo, no! Thank you for playing the demo for Into the Depths 2 The Unbidden. I hope you'll take the time to leave any feedback or bug reports wherever you downloaded the map from. This map is a huge project, I'm only one person, so at best it will be a few months uh, before the full map is released. I hope you'll be there to experience the whole story. I'll try to deliver it in a timely manner. And a special thanks to everyone who has helped contribute to make the map what it is, from the texture artists like Monsterfish and Misa, who gave permission to use their respective textures together, to the many incredibly smart people over on Minecraft Commands who helped me put many desired features into this map, to everyone who did Let's Plays and generally supported my original map, like Unfixing Alloy 1, Below 10k, and Unlikely Waffle, which gave me the inspiration to create the sequel. See you in the future when I finally complete this thing, whenever that may be. SS33094, oh man, no! This can't be the end, this is so good! Let's see if I can find anything around here, or if it's just empty space. Oh! Oh man, this was so much fun! I am so excited. If this, if this is the caliber that the entire map runs on, I am excited. I am so excited. Because this was phenomenal. Oh man. Alright, I'm gonna turn the music down. A little bit because it's a bit loud for me uh but yeah oh my god this that didn't turn it down okay uh let's just master volume off nice and quiet uh so my thoughts uh definitely silent hill inspired you can once again tell and i think you can tell a lot more than the first map how inspired this is about silent hill because it's got all the the tropes that you'd expect it's got its own story it's working in the story of the first map, which is more of a, a psychological journey through a very different place, a very different frame of mind. And clearly you can tell that this map is such a big improvement, not only just regarding Redstone or whatever, because I know that this map creator never really held Redstone to high regard back when they made the first one. I think it's good that the redstone is inhibiting the, the gameplay, such as the item inventory management and stuff like that, in a way that isn't intrusive, and that the main gameplay is still coming from uh, exploring and finding shortcuts and looking around and just generally having a lot of fun with the map. Uh, this was brilliant, and I am so excited to see the finished result. Uh, when the finished map comes out for anyone that's watching, I will probably replay through this segment, but I will just see if there's any changes that may or may not happen. Wouldn't put it past the map creator to do something like that. But, um, just general, I'm so excited. I am just so excited. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Go check out the map yourself. Try the demo out. Immerse yourself in this world. And, uh, yeah. Can't wait for all those goddamn spiders because the map creator is completely aware of my phobia now. This is great. See you guys next time. Goodbye.